you, Mr Deputy Speaker, and thanks to my honourable friend, the Member of the Cities of London and Westminster, for securing this debate. And I've listened and learned uh, a great deal from honourable members across the House for their contributions today. I think the, the variety and the richness of them reflects a lot of what we're talking about, that richness of contribution to um, British society. And it is that, that, it, that is the point where I'd like to start this, um, Mr Deputy Speaker, that the British Je Jewish community has made a remarkable contribution to the prosperity of our nation. And in the face, sadly, of growing hostility abroad and shamefully here at home, I believe it is high time that we as a nation celebrate their part in our national story. So I'll do two things in the few minutes I have. First, I'd like to highlight the remarkable contribution made by the British Jewish community in Abercrombie today. And for that, I'd like to thank the work of, oh, I'd like to thank Professor Nathan Abrams of Bangor University and also the team at Llandidno Museum for their important work in tracing the history of North Wales and Abercrombie's Jewish residents. And then go on to raise and quickly dismiss an objection which I think we can anticipate to uh, founding a British Jewish History Month. In Aberconway, although they've never numbered more than a few hundred individuals, Jewish residents have played a prominent role in the recent history of our community. Aberconway, sadly, is not without its reminders of a darker past. Conway's castle and walls were, of course, built by Edward I, notable for both his oppression of the Welsh, but also his expulsion of Jewish subjects in 1290. But primarily, arriving in Llandidno in the Victorian era, the new Jewish community was soon a key part of the area's booming economy and actively involved in the development and safeguarding of our local culture. Families such as the Krups, Goubets, Wartskis and Blairmans founded shops that have become fixtures of our high streets, visible to this day, with the latter two founding international antique business, businesses which continue to prosper. We can also thank the Wartskis for the synagogue in Llandidno, which opened in 1909. And it's a testament to its legacy that modern-day Llandidno has the pleasure, pleasure of welcoming a large number of Hasidic families each year. In more recent times, the first woman, Mayor of Abercrombie, was Jewish, Vicky Lazar, who was elected in 1978. And most recently, in a welcome twist of history, in 2012, care of those battlements in Conway that King Edward built Voted into the, the care, their care was voted into the competent hands of Cedric Regal, the first Jewish constable and mayor of Conway, with a rabbi offering a prayer at the inauguration. However, Mr Deputy Speaker, in making the case for celebrating and formally recognising such contributions in Abercrombie and across the UK, we can anticipate an objection, albeit raised in good faith. In an era of increasingly divisive identitarian politics, it may well be asked, will such recognition encourage British people to think of themselves and one another in terms of ethnic or religious group identity? Does this not then risk compounding rather than easing division? Well, as the MP for a bilingual constituency, a proud Welshman and Brit, I think this is a profound misunderstanding of identity. Our British identity is not totalising. It does not demand the erosion of the uh, regional and religious identities that make up our nation. We are privileged in Britain to inherit a nation that evolved long before liberal nationalist revolutions of the 19th century. Nations such as France, Italy and German, Germany engaging in assertive state-led nation building. In contrast, Britain emerged slowly as networks of kin, friendship and trade bound together the destinies of the peoples of our islands. In many European states, for example, standardised education was seized on as a means to erode national, uh, regional ident identity. Yet here, and I speak of North Wales in this case, the fierce independence and plurality of educations have represented distinct religious and philosophical traditions. In North Wales, I'd also count our fierce tradition of non-conformism in that too. And it is when a community's story has become intertwined with that of the nation that it becomes part of the story of Britain. And such is the story of British Jews. It is significant and it is a part of the story, our story, that deserves to be celebrated. Mr Deputy Speaker, in a world in which ethnic grievances are increasingly and easily stoked for political capital, here, are, here is a story of resilience and success. The British Jewish contribution to the arts, literature, commerce and science of the UK has enriched and elevated our national life, here and in Abercrombie, and it has improved the condition of humanity the world over. This is a story that should serve to inspire people of all backgrounds, 
and it is for this reason that I support the motion put before us today.